In opposition circles, Russia's parliament has earned the nickname the crazy printer. These days, they say, it's churning out ever wilder pieces of legislation just to please this man, Vladimir Putin. And at the opening session of the new parliament, Russia's seventh, the president gave it his full backing. You, as representatives of the Russian people, must expect hard work, and you must begin immediately. You can always rely on support from the president and the government. Following September's parliamentary elections, the president's party, United Russia, has a supermajority in the Duma. That means it can do what it wants, even change the constitution. To some analysts, the path ahead seems clear. They have to choose between further militarization and economic growth. They've already chosen militarization because that's what Putin's chosen. And the Duma will support the path of patriotic rhetoric and belt tightening. With an expensive defense budget and low oil prices, spending cuts and tax rises seem inevitable. One suggestion has been replacing Russia's 13% flat rate of income tax with something more progressive, which would actually reverse one of Putin's earliest policies as president. Another is to raise the retirement age, but this would risk angering a demographic usually staunchly supportive of the Kremlin. And if tough economic decisions finally force ordinary Russians or the elites to lose their patience with the government, well, that's where the people working in this building come in. Reports are swirling in the Russian media of an impending consolidation of the security services, essentially a recreation of the Stalin-era Ministry of State Security. It would unite several agencies, with the Federal Security Service, the FSB, reigning supreme. Investigative journalist Andrei Soldatov is concerned by what he's hearing. Well, if you believe but the only way to control the population of the elites is some sort of repression, selective or not. It's really scary because it's, yes, it's a, we are getting back to some, to the Soviet times, maybe not to the 50s, but to the 80s. And what of Putin himself? Well, Russia's next big vote is the presidential election of 2018. And that's another rumor doing the rounds that Putin might choose to capitalize on his current popularity and bring the elections forward to next year. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.